Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Mark Boyd. I'm a board-certified obstetrician gynecologist. Today, we're going to talk about how to get pregnant after your period. Many questions arise on when's the optimal time to get pregnant. How do you relate your period to your ovulation? And that's what we're going to discuss today. Now, we're going to use a specific time period and there's more information in my free guide, but today we're going to use a specific guide period of a 28-day cycle. Now, the first day of your period is called day one. Now, what is the first day? Is it the day you're bleeding heavy or is it the day you're seeing any spotting? And the answer is the day you see any blood is the day we call day one. Now, in a 28-day cycle, optimally, ovulation occurs on day 14. So day one, first day you see blood, you count to day 14, that's around the time that you ovulate. But that's too specific, so we're going to be a little bit more general and we're going to give you what's called an ovulatory period. Now, ovulation occurs on day 14 in this 28-day cycle. If you subtract seven days, that's day seven of your cycle, and add seven days, that's day 21 of your cycle, that's called your ovulatory period. Now, what you say to your husband is, husband, we need to get together on day seven of our cycle and have intercourse every 48 hours from day seven through day 21. Now, if you do this, you should increase your chances dramatically of getting pregnant. Now, the average couple, when they do this, gets pregnant within three to six months. However, you can get pregnant your first month, so be prepared for that. Also, it may take you 12 months to get pregnant. Be prepared for that. Now, if you follow this guideline, you will markedly increase your chances for getting pregnant and you'll be a happy patient. Thanks a lot for following me today. Please download the free guide by clicking the link below and we'll see you on future videos.